The Museum of Discovery and Science is proud to bring you Wise Bodies, presented by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Today we're going to be talking about, don't feel nervous, don't feel nervous, HIV and AIDS. So we know that it's transmitted through um, sex and through blood. Is there any other way that it's transmitted, like through the air? Can you get HIV from kissing? So it's an STD and it's stigmatized to be like the worst one, or at least that's what I like here, like whenever it's talked about, HIV AIDS is like, that's the bad one, you know what I mean? Because you can't fix it, there's no cure. The human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, is a virus that attacks white blood cells, weakening the immune system's ability to fight off infections and diseases. If the spread of HIV in the body is left untreated and too many white blood cells are killed, this will lead to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS. AIDS is the late stage of an untreated HIV infection that occurs when the immune system is badly damaged from the virus, making the body more susceptible to opportunistic infections. HIV is spread through the exchange of bodily fluids, such as blood, semen, breast milk, and vaginal and anal secretions. While HIV is currently not curable, effective treatments now exist that can reduce the level of the virus in the body of a person living with HIV to the point where the viral load is undetectable, rendering the virus untransmittable to other people. So now we'd like to demonstrate what happens when HIV infects a cell. So we have these big water balloons here, and they're big water balloons. The ping pong balls inside of them represent the HIV. So as the virus infects a cell, you could have a little bit in there, uh, but before it spreads, it might not do much to the body. So there's a chance to prevent the spreading. If the virus continues to replicate, it can overwhelm a cell until it kills that white blood cell and bursts the cell membrane, spreading throughout the bloodstream. And that's when real damage can be done. So we're here to demonstrate what happens when we reach that point of the cell membrane breaking as it becomes overwhelmed with HIV. So as the balloon goes over, watch what happens to the ping pong balls as we see how rapidly this can spread through the bloodstream. As you can see, once the HIV had replicated enough in that one cell, it eventually destroyed that white blood cell and then left the HIV spreading throughout the blood system to wreak havoc on the rest of it. So if untreated, it can do a lot of damage. So the treatment that you would get if you do have HIV in your bloodstream keeps it contained so that that does not happen and you can stay safe and live a happy life. The first recorded cases were in the 1980s. It was also known as the gay cancer and the reason it was so rampant in the 1980s is because no one knew what it was. Scientists at the National Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta today released the results of a study which shows that the lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic. The disease has already claimed more victims than Legionnaire's disease and toxic shock syndrome combined. At first, it seemed to strike only one segment of the population. Now a health threat to the general population. It's called AIDS, AIDS. New cases of HIV in LA County are on the rise. Tens of millions are expected to die of AIDS. Close to 40 million people in the world live with HIV. Back then, a diagnosis was also a death sentence. Negative attitudes about HIV are literally killing people. There is no cure. Since the global epidemic began, over 32 million people have died from AIDS-related illness. And while annual mortality rates have been reduced by 60% since peaking in 2004, an average of over 600,000 people still die each year from AIDS-related illness around the world. In the United States, over 1 million people are currently living with HIV or AIDS with nearly 40,000 new diagnoses every year. The southern United States, including Florida, is home to nearly half of the people living with HIV in the country, with Miami and Fort Lauderdale being among the highest rates. Anyone can contract HIV and AIDS, regardless of age, gender, ethnicity, or sexual orientation. Anyone is at risk of contracting HIV, and the sooner people realize that, that there's not one particular mold that defines the HIV-positive person. AIDS and HIV is not a gay disease. It's a everyone-can-get-it disease. Anyone from your grandparents to people that are 16, 17, 18 years old 
At AIDS Healthcare Foundation, we've seen people as young as 13, 14 contract the disease. If you go to one of our healthcare centers and you don't want to tell your parents, we don't reveal that information. When people talk about ending the epidemic, what they're referring to is, how do we get to zero? Advocacy means that there are policies that are not in place that need to be in order to protect community and the people around us. Medication for every nation is to back now. The price of drugs is still too high. Let us demand that the world's wealthiest countries put their resources into fighting this pandemic. If we don't act, we will pass the point of no return. Stop the crying. Stop the dying. AIDS treatment now. I speak on behalf of the 34 million people in the world who are living with HIV and in the memory of all those who have died. You will not be forgotten. You can live a full life on medication with being HIV positive. I bleed the same way you bleed. I eat the same thing you eat. We live the same ways. It's just that I have to do an extra step in my life. I'm fine. This is just a speed bump in my road to success, you know? I feel like it makes me stronger because I have an extra layer of tough skin. Words that people say to me can't really affect me as much. And I feel like it's made me stronger. From the sounds of it, there's a lot of ways to prevent HIV or once you have it to make sure like you're okay um, but I feel like there's still a lot of stigma around it. There's a lot of people who think that sharing a cup or giving a hug to someone who is infected with HIV can transmit it. It is not true. The best tool we have for combating the stigma is the concept of U equals U. Undetectable equals uninfectious or untransmittable. Someone can be HIV positive but as long as they take their medication, regularly follow up with their doctor, get their blood work done, make sure that they're staying healthy, their viral load, which is the amount of virus in their blood, remains suppressed. It is as if the virus isn't there anymore at all. Unfortunately, we know it is because there's no cure for HIV, but the medicine has worked so well that it has almost eradicated it from their blood. HIV doesn't discriminate. HIV doesn't care who you are. HIV doesn't see your age, your gender, your gender identity, your ethnicity, your religion, or your sexual orientation. Once people can become more educated about HIV, how it's transmitted, and how to avoid it, how to protect themselves, and how to stay HIV negative, routine condom use, the use of pre-exposure prophylaxis, which is a pill that you can take daily that your physician, family doctor, or pediatrician has the capacity to prescribe you to keep you safe from HIV, people can see that this is not a disease that fits some sort of mold. There is hope. It all starts with you for HIV prevention. Thank you for joining us for Wise Bodies presented by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Wise Bodies is an innovative HIV AIDS awareness and prevention program. And we truly encourage you to know your body, know your status, and help us make a difference.